Recruiters spend about 15 seconds reading a resume for the first time. Help them select yours. Your resume must highlight who you are professionally, help you stand out, and get the hiring manager to want to meet you. Only reflection and synthesis will allow you to communicate clearly all of the useful information. First, indicate your email address. Your ESSEC address is assigned to you for life and your phone number. Legally, you do not have to add your picture or your resume. However, if you do decide to add one, it must be a high quality professional photo. Next, create a hook by highlighting your goal or objective. As it is likely the first thing the recruiter will read, this will help them understand what you have to offer. Also, indicate the type of position you're looking for. In the case of an internship, be sure to specify the duration and your desired start date. Next, move on to the education section. Indicate the institutions and diplomas you have obtained after high school. You may be able to add some courses in connection with your professional objective. When you graduate and after you begin your first position, you will move the education section after the professional experience. Remember to include your MOOCs. Here, you need to present your experiences by particularly highlighting the significant missions, accomplishments, and keywords for the position you are targeting. Hence the importance of having an objective. Be sincere. Your resume must be an accurate representation of who you are because you will have to talk about it during the interview. Highlight concrete achievements. Indicate how you personally contributed to successfully completing your missions and what you're proud of. If you have little or no experience, mention the activities in which you have developed professional skills, such as associations or projects. How should you present your experiences? Use specific headings to describe your tasks and assignments, even if it is not the exact title on the contract. Use action nouns. For example, inventory management, network animation, data search and analysis. Also, quantify your achievements. Provide numbers or percentages when possible. English fluent, Italian intermediate, or Chinese beginner. It is necessary to specify your level for each of the languages you speak. Remember to illustrate and enrich them. If you have passed language tests, indicate your score. And of course, all your trips abroad are a plus. Indicate the total number of months you have spent abroad. Add your computer skills as well as other competencies. What software have you mastered? Graphic design? Video editing? Are you certified in first aid? What permits do you have? Do you have experience writing articles? Mentioning such skills, even if they seem unrelated, can bring a different and complementary look to your application. In this last section, talk about your passions and your interests that highlight the other aspects of your personality. List the activities that distinguish you from other candidates and that can really support your professional project. For example, if you have mentored young people, it shows your leadership skills. If you have been in a sports club, it highlights your team spirit, etc. Your resume should fit on one page, starting from the most recent experience and going in reverse chronological order. In general, the dates are placed in the left margin. Facilitate the recruiter's work. Use the same presentation layout for all sections. Create space between your paragraphs. Make sure that the layout, the margins, and the titles are straight. Use only one font. Use the same typography guidelines to create a reading grid. That is to say, the same information should use the same formatting. For example, all institutions should be in bold. Diplomas and names of positions in bold italics. Use typography guidelines and colors wisely. Check the spelling and syntax. Ask somebody else to proofread your resume. One or more mistakes can immediately discredit your application. Once your resume is ready, name it. First name dot last name dot CV and send it in PDF format so that it can be read on all types of platforms. 
Now, it's up to you. You can find more tips on Essex Career Center website.